want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back. Chat, what should I play while these guys do quiplash? How many beanies do you own now? This is a toque. <laughs> I, I have a toque. I have three. NL, would you trade 5% of your income for the ability to spit venom like a cobra? Only if I had, like, complete control. I wouldn't want to spray anybody in the face like Jurassic Park style by accident. Very oh, handicapped. Like spraying people in the face <laughs> by accident. <laughs> so in the meantime, bits from Delta, 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 <laughs> Stalooty, Lutzi, Double Taco, Delta, 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 Lunaraz13, Swim loves you, Geo, Geo, Delta, and Swim loves you. Thank you guys as well. What happened like to Rob? All here. Rob, this big red cheers for the New York Jets. That said, he takes pictures of his food, but they're all from extremely close vantage points. On paper balls. <laughs> or paper balls. I love it. That's what happened to Rob. Dude, what if there was a guy on Instagram who only took pictures of food on paper plates? That you could be Rob. Be a millionaire. Yeah, popper, pop a paper plates. Popper plates? It's a piece of cake to pop a paper plate. Look, paper plates just save time. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, Wait, no, I think like they That's don't though. Say. There it he saves is. time. You don't need to. You gotta. You gotta you wash the plates all the time. What do you want to do that for? It's Why so aren't you using plastic forks then? Well, because it saves time too. You're not gonna, you're not gonna wash the plates. Oh, okay. You're not gonna wash the forks either. That's true. You just buy a pack of them and throw them out. You're good to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, he's a man with a plan, and I'm oh, glad he used got eight pans with fish and chips. Sorry, uh, I'll let you guys do it. Okay, I disagree with you, but <laughs> we'll defend your right to say it. Crandor, you gotta submit your answer! Propose oh, new you. Olive Garden you're slogan. Your, your when you're here, you're... Eat shit and okay. die, or yep. probably 60 to 80 years old. <laughs> well, Crandor fits right in already, you gotta quiplash. Thank you. That's Thank you. step one of uh, Quiplash is you always unanimously yeah, beat mouth. A good reason to give a restaurant a zero star review. They serve you mac and cheese when you're full or they serve you on paper plates. Who would do that to someone? <laughs> <laughs> it just saves time, man. Okay, paper plates has won narrowly. Why but would you, if you got brought mac and cheese when you're full, you don't want to eat it. <laughs> that's true. You're not even familiar with the story that's based on, but you've already sussed out the uh, the absurdity inherent in it. Okay, yeah. I don't think I've ever been to an Italian restaurant where you have to wait like 40 minutes to get a table. Mmm. Busy. That seems common as we well. charge like $15 for pasta. You can buy like a box of that for a dollar. You still got enough money left for plates. Stars what a moody teen would say to hurt their stepdad Bigfoot. Paper your plates place? are... <laughs> or... <laughs> your hands are small. I'm voting paper plates are. <laughs> I don't it know. Perfectly, you got the quiplash on mouth, and you got the didn't finish your answer. In that, that'll probably still win. I mean, I definitely finished my answer. You can't be me. But uh, your hands are small. Damn. Sixty-nine. Nice. Thirty-one. That one had everything. Incomplete answer. Veiled reference to the president-elect of the United States. Uh, <laughs> grammatical error. The worst thing oh, I to admit. Fuck. <laughs> the worst thing to admit during a sleepover. That you have crusty socks for a reason or so hard can't think straight. Crusty socks for a reason. 71 to 29. You're embracing the meme? You have to embrace <laughs> the meme on the end. <laughs> it's not it's even so a meme. Surprised. That's just if a you, common knowledge. If, if a meme spawns about you on the internet, you can't fight it. What are you gonna, I'm gonna come over to everybody's house in Twitch chat and beat the crap out of them? That's just not conceivable. It worked. <laughs> Live your life, whatever you want to do. Yeah, like there's no tomorrow. Live your life like there's no tomorrow. Uh, All right. Live tomorrow. I could have said this prompt to continue that line of logic. Rank 19, full Reno mage. Feels bad, man. <laughs> yeah. Why is life so hard? It started on a giant rock, or it got turned on. I had chicken uh, schnitzel, sch schnitzel sandwich today. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> chicken schnitzel sandwich. It was a BLTP chicken schnitzel schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> chicken schnitzel. It's like, a, it's like having a stroke every time you gotta say, say schnitzel. It's hard, you gotta plan for it. It's minor rotation. It's got like four consonants in a row. Many. 
Something you shouldn't say to a mafia godfather. Mafia, more like Latvia. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> or you ever play Whacked on Xbox? Your Canadian accent ruined that completely. Mafia, more like Latvia. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Latvia pasta. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, get out of here. He's not even saying those foreign words in the American way. 56 to 44. That's a close battle. That is hard fought. This is like the presidential Assign election. <laughs> I was! A sign your parents may have sheltered you as a kid. You get your mom to type your sex for you, or you don't know about crusty socks. Crusty socks is the... That's the new of the day. That's the new We're working on it. That's just the name of Jackbox's new game. You don't know about Krusty Socks. <laughs> the dumbest use of a science... Wait, the dumbest use of science would be to clone a single bean or to clone a really bad scientist. A better name for belly buttons, stomach vortex or your gaping torso chasm. LaShawn Bain. Belly button lines. I know you got them. Penis, penis, penis. Vagina, vagina, vagina. <laughs> Peppy preteen princess, penis people praying, Piper's pickled penis, penile press, crab sad baz purple pomegranate pustules. You got eight right. seconds. Uh, spam the keyboard again. Channel love it this time, I swear. <laughs> if you get close enough to a real world, they'll just spam it and it'll post on the subreddit. Yeah, sometimes those live on forever. Ooh, see what's what. yeah. Then they subscribe uh, to you with that name. EIL Fangfa. <laughs> Monster Time board game. <laughs> yeah. A good name for a Christian water park. Kill switch engage or parting the Red Sea. <laughs> what you will bequeath to your enemy upon your death. My collection of crusty socks or these nuts. No vote? What's the problem? This isn't that bad. Are, are you self-maiming again? <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> collection of crusty socks. Oh no. Why is each snowflake different? They aren't China lied about it, or why not? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be funny? It's a reversal, man. Chat's in a good place right now. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much par for the course. The quickest way to rid yourself of a tapeworm. Okay. Anal chopsticks? Or send in a glue worm after it. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest answer I've ever seen. <laughs> a glue worm? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Tape has glue on it. <laughs> well, that's sticky. I'm out of there. Terrible name for a street. Beat oh, no. Beat Street or Paper Plate Street? Paper Plate <laughs> Street is like, that's ironic. Like, that's where the, the paper plate district is like where the million dollar mansions are. <laughs> they just call it that because on a map it looks like a paper plate. More like Yeet that's Yeet Street. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's probably yeet, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, skeet, 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 skeet. <laughs> there he goes. Skeet, 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 street. skeet street. Why didn't they give me that? <laughs> <laughs> that would have got a quick one. Every prompt you don't get, you'll be great at. <laughs> I know, right? What cows are usually saying when they moo? Okay, bus driver, move that bus! <laughs> or, by all known laws of flight, a bee should not... <laughs> Is that the beginning of bee moving? Yeah, that's the beginning of bee moving. <laughs> Fuck off! I mean, I'm voting for it, but I'm really mad about it. It was a quiplash for the bee movie right. answer. A rejected church hymn. Swing low, sweet conseco. Or swing low, sweet offering plates. Why are printer ink cartridges so expensive? Because of the crippling printer ink monopoly, or why not? <laughs> is, that, is that mouth you can't contain your enthusiasm for your own answer? I knew it. Did you? In the hopper? Something found in the seat cracks of nearly every cab. 100 smaller cabs or crusty socks? What? Hello. No <laughs> what is this emote? I still. <laughs> it's just called The Thing, and it's that man with hands, hands for hair. hair. 
It's not Hans. He's got like two pigtails. That one like, freaks things. you out so much. No that one's giving me an explanation. It looks like they're slowly inserting his head into a black hole. <laughs> Dude, I've never even seen that emote. Before. See? <laughs> Dude, there's like 15 emotes that are super rare that no one ever uses, but I've they're been like global emotes. All week I've been trying to figure out what the secret of the thing is. Oh, right, it's another acronym. Fantastic. Egged. Just egged. I mean, okay, everyone is capable of typing the emote, but can somebody explain to me why this man has two hands for hair? What if it's not hands and it's just his hair looks like hands? Look at it. I did, and I think it might be hair. His hair is hands, Nick. If you could see his hands, you would be 100% convinced. I can't see his hands. I don't know. They might look totally different. Uh, just so you know, you can see his hands. They're on his head, where his hair is supposed to be. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the, uh, the Oh My Dog? You've seen the emote, I'm sure. It looks know. like a lovable, like, retriever or something. But when you get, like, the, the full resolution of it, the dog has crazy eyes. Oh, okay. Let, like, Dogs have people. crazy eyes sometimes. Eggs, gags, degs, erectile <laughs> giant domain, egged, eating good dicks, or even God dies. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's like a new game from, uh, what's his name? That does Suda all the crazy games. Yeah, Suda51. <laughs> Who let Josh answer this even one? Even God Suda! dies. <laughs> you think Suda has ever gotten hopped up on Sudafed and sued to feds? <laughs> Sudafetted Suda. Sudafetted Suda51 Sudafeds. No way you just made that up. It just popped Suda! into my head. <laughs> Suda. You gotta make a complete sentence out of four letters. I don't think Chow. I voted here. Right. Fair. <laughs> <We're> not... <laughs> Sensing a lot of repressed anger in this room. Right. So, like so everybody back off and let's start the game. Yeah, I do. Ah, this is extremely offensive, but is it cause for retribution, or is it just funny offensive? Mm, that's incredible. Go for it, man. You know chat's gonna egg you on for it. Oh, I, I don't it. know. Like, it's pretty anti-Semitic. I mean, if you gotta say that, I think you know the answer already. <laughs> is it, like, pretty anti-Semitic? Or... No, it's anti-Semitic! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure Chad will forgive you, right? They're, they're a forgiving bunch. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> did you do it? Yes. <laughs> okay, he did. The name of a holiday you quickly make up to get out of work. YouTube Appreciation Day or Rosh Hashanah? Well, apropos of nothing at all, it seems like we got a message from Mathis Games here. Well, dude, a lot of people think I'm Jewish because I have a big nose, but I'm not. Jewish. Wow, that's just out of nowhere on that one. Something you might overhear in a completely full clown car. So, has anyone here seen the B movie? Or you can keep your hand there if you want. <laughs> you like jazz? Wow, the audience rebelled against B movie. 69 Why? to 31 for you can keep your hand there if you want. <laughs> yeah! The name of a really boring sex position is the reverse it's reverse or the reverse <laughs> casket bottom. That's probably what the Kama Sutras like, right? They're like, oh, we got like a million positions. But they've actually only got, you know, 250,000. And then the rest are just the same ones with like upside down or reverse appended to the front of it. It's like, now do the opposite one. Okay, you know? <laughs> It's More like Sema Sutra. It's really weird when she knits you. Wait. It's sweet when Grandma knits you a scarf. It's really weird when she knits your balls together. It's sweet when Grandma knits you a scarf. It's really weird when she knits you crusty socks. Is gonna be the other answer. Oh, oh no! With no, the sir. the counter pick. <laughs> oh no, Grandor, you did a counter pick. That's yeah, an advanced you... level meta for the Quiplash on our show. I mean, I you got Quiplash by it, but... <laughs> yeah. Um... Chad, I found a funny Kama Sutra position, but I can't post it because it's dirty. Never touch the... Gooch with your hand, okay. use the gooch rod. Or never, never touch the ceramic elephant. You know, I wonder where you can buy a gooch rod. Oh, Malf has got an answer for you. Dude, I swear to God, this guy emailed me a week ago 
saying Gootrod and a Dick Dad Paper has not been realized and he wants to make it. Dick Dad Paper. <laughs> Does he own like a like a factory or something? He said he like won some kind of like Midwestern entrepreneurship first thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ask for your banking yeah. details? <laughs> there you go, guys. You want a good try? Just go to MikeLaleVox.com. Uh... The old Midwest Entrepreneur Festival. <laughs> First draft movie line. Go ahead, make my American pie. Or go ahead, make my sandwich on wheat footlong with turkey. <laughs> That's not the Subway ordering convention. You say, give me a footlong turkey on wheat. Not a give me a sandwich on wheat <laughs> foot long with turkey. I mean it won, but still. Maybe it sounds better with like a gun in your hand if you say it like that. Everything sounds make better with a gun in your hand, Austin. Awesome. When you what? order it like that, <laughs> they're gonna make it anyway because they are. You're the customer. That's true. Yeah, that says sandwich. <laughs> you never met a witch made a sand. <laughs> The Which name sand? of a figure skating move yet to be successfully pulled off. Michelle Kwan's Kama Sutra or Figure Great Triple X? Oh, that, that said movie. Fuck. <laughs> 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 That's almost Monster That's Time board game level. <laughs> a bad excuse for missing your kid's graduation. You had your own graduation to attend, or reading Michelle Kwan's Kama Sutra? <laughs> I feel like it's got low meme potential, even though it's a pretty solid one. It only needs to work twice. I guess. It made me laugh twice. There you go. That's all I ask. If it made you laugh, then give it a vote here. Wow, yeah. mouth with the, the spiteful quiplash denial. A strange question to find on an IQ test. 34N plus 12 is what favorite capital of Sweden? Or, have you seen a Nick Cage movie? Stockholm, right? <laughs> I mean, you tell me. I'm sorry, I didn't not vote. Yeah, also, the same thing, Nick didn't vote either. You can just imagine taking an IQ test and it just pops up, and you're just like, wait, how's this gonna determine my IQ? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You know? Well, I think, like, okay. the correct amount of... There's, like, a, a normal well distribution. If you've seen, like, seven Nicolas Cage movies, you have, like, a 130 it. IQ. Right. Six or eight Nicolas Cage movies, you're at, like, a 110. Four or nine Nicolas Cage movies, you gotta be in, like, the 40s. Yeah. I think I've seen maybe three Nicolas Cage movies. Which That's, like, 75% of the movies you've seen in your life, then. Yeah, pretty much. So bad. <laughs> Come up with a flashy wrestling move with this word in its name. Scab giver, scab ripper, the scab grab and stab, the scabbard of justice, the scab crab slammer, or Michelle Kwan's Kama God Sutra. Damn it. <laughs> I think I'll vote for it every time it comes up, honestly. Killing me isn't gonna bring, bring back your goddamn honey. Well, I don't wanna be rude, but I won that one. Barely. Huh. Our balls together. That's the top answer of that round. <laughs> Total Biscuit just said idiot streamer, idiot followers. That's a... <laughs> with no that's emoticon. A that's extremely uncouth. <laughs> Good lord. That's a little blow. Drag him. No, Bear Taffy, you stay on our side, mister. Let's go, well, boys. Well, well. I mean, Crendor is still in the game once. here, so we're gonna get some quiplashes, I think. But I oh no, that's okay. Let's begin. So that's what it's like to have a real YouTuber on the show. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Highly and where were those jokes when he was here? Probably in chat as well, but I couldn't see it because it was just a rack attack. No Rob, no vote. Just because I haven't cut anything with a 1,000 degree knife doesn't mean I'm not a real YouTuber, okay? It's not too late. <laughs> Could always start. We should, like, do that at PAX East. Yeah, let's get together and burn shit. Do the Harlem Shake and cut up something with a 1,000 degree knife. Oh, God. We have to measure to make sure the temperature is high enough, though. Can we cut, no, no, like, no. A, a Samsung note with a 1,000 degree knife? 
Can we no, cut a one thousand we'll dollar note? Bear yes. says he's cutting the plaque when it gets there. Yeah, <laughs> that would be great, dude. That's worth like another thirty thousand subscribers right there. <laughs> it's an investment in your future self. The least popular scented candle smells like titty residue. That's a one hundred percent for mouth because there was no answer from Crandor. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only way mouth can win. Die, fuck off, Austin. I'm the best. A terrible <laughs> thing to say to the bouncer checking your fake ID. I killed your whole family with a 9mm Beretta, or if you look, I'm actually an organ donor. 9mm Beretta, 57 to 43. The quickest way to get out of conversation is to look at the clock and say, I have to go now, or, Welp, my wife is having a baby. Well, I don't need to be here. <laughs> Well, I guess we're not voting anymore. How would you spend oh no. First How day would you spend your first day as US president? president? Tweeting mostly or no answer. Something that should never have a chocolate filling. Crendor or your colostomy bag. Shave him. It would be very surprising if they made a movie all about the life of B movie or blank. Oh my lord. <laughs> Two thousand points for Austin. Ah, deserve it. Yep, that was a top tier answer. One. <laughs> the weirdest, label, the weirdest you label you could have on a moving box. Functional smokeware, bring to baby's room, or no answer. Oh, I got him out of the way quick. That's a great, <laughs> weird thing to say. Come up with a new hilarious sitcom with this word in its title. Trout. Inside and trout side, a fish out of water. Girl meets trout. Teapot, short and trout, trout under fire. Inside and trout side, blew his house with a blue little <laughs> oh, that's where you were going. <laughs> and a blue Corvette. And everything was blue for him. And his trout's off. Now for the final it's probably like scores. the worst quiplash segment we've ever had. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were off today. I have so many tweets telling me what the thing is it's clearly is it? not hands for hair what yeah, is it then it's his hair you're right but, that's what i said i mean you're all i mean obviously it's hair but <clears throat> his hands are hair as far as i'm concerned you had a good anagram for ireland yep uh, liar dan whoa fuck how'd you do that so fast no that's two a's Sorry. No, no, well, I was using an E. Like, I misspelled liar to make it fit. Liar land. <laughs> it's got two A's. Land. I mean, the other way you could do it. I was thinking about that. It's so weird that you would bring that up. Because I was like, Crandor is going to be on the show. I should think of a an anagram for Crandor. And all I came up with was Dr. Corny. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, though. I couldn't get anything to work. It's got too many R's and not enough, you know, utility vowels. Is to that work like a around. genetic thing, being able to do anagrams quickly? Because I can't even remotely yep. do that. I can roll my R's. Can't do those, though. 